Hi guys, welcome back. This video is for Frankie, who wants to know about solving equations on the higher tier paper. So what I thought I'd look at is solving quadratic equations where the equations are not equal to zero. So let's have a look at the two examples here. So we've got to solve x squared equals 14 minus 5x. So the first thing we need to do then is make this quadratic equation equal to zero before we can factorise it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do then is add 5x to both sides of the quadratic. So that will give us x squared plus 5x equals 14. And then we just need to get rid of the 14 on the right hand side. So if we take 14 off both sides, so that will give x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals 0. Okay. Another thing as well is that you need to always have the x squared first on the line and the number at the end. Okay, so once you've done this then, you just need to put this into double brackets. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us minus 14. And then the numbers must add to give us 5. So let's just write our numbers down which multiply to give us minus 14. So we've got 1 times negative 14. We've got minus 1 times plus 14. Uh, we've got plus 2 times minus 7 and minus 2 times plus 7. So which one of these pairs add to give us plus 5? And it will be the bottom pair here, minus 2 add 7. So if we put that into our brackets, so it will be x minus 2 add x plus 7 equals naught. So once we've done this then we just split the equation into two. So we say x minus 2 equals 0 or we've got x plus 7 equals 0. So if we solve this one on the left hand side we just need to add 2 to both sides. So x would be equal to 2. And if we solve the one on the right hand side, we just need to get rid of the plus 7 by minusing 7 off both sides. So that will give us x equals minus 7. Okay, so let's move on to the second example then. So this time we have 8 equals 6x minus x squared. So again, we just need to make it equal to zero. So if we get rid of the minus x squared first by adding x squared to both sides. So that will give us x squared plus 8 equals 6x. And then get rid of the 6x. So minus 6x off both sides. I'm just going to drop that term in the middle so it's in the correct order. Okay, so again, if we just look for our, our numbers which multiply to give us plus 8 and add to give us the minus 6, so we can put it into a double bracket. So numbers that multiply to give us plus 8 are plus 1, times plus 8, negative 1 times negative 8, plus 2 times plus 4, and minus 2 times negative 4. So again the one that we'll need then is the bottom one because minus 2 take away 4 gives minus 6. So 
Let's just put this into our brackets. Okay, so again, we just need to split this into two equations now. So our first one is x minus 2 equals 0. Or the second one is x minus 4 equals 0. So if we solve this one on the left hand side first, so if we add 2 to both sides, so that will give x equals 2. And this one we just need to add 4 to both sides, so that will give x equals 4. And there's our two solutions. So I hope you like this video then guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.